Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Coach Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big with your betting on sports and not only win big, but win big consistently. So we are at the end of May now, so we're actually at the end of the second month of the Major League Baseball season, one third of the way through already, and the division races are heating up. So we got some very good matchups for this week. Most are in the division which is perfect for the battle to see who will come out on top at the end of the season. So we have a bunch of games we want to look at here. So we're at the uh, VIP club section. So remember, if you're not a member, join up so you can access this VIP club section, which has all the tools you will need to make your predictions and your bets. So we're going to go down through here and take a look at some of these games here. If you scroll down through. And the first matchup is the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. This is a big battle in the AL East. The Red Sox are third in the division. The Yankees are first in the division. You can see the Red Sox and the Yankees are both burning hot. If you look at what they've done over the last six games, you see the Red Sox are 4-2. and two, And the Yankees are 5-1 and one during that period. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that the Yankees, although trending slightly down, they're still at plus 25. And the Red Sox here are at plus 17. You want to bet the over under? Well, let's see what's going on here. So, we're going to compare the red line to the blue line. The Red Sox games here in the red are trending under. Go down here to the Yankees games, they are trending well over. So, you could bet the over considering the Yankees games are trending more over than the Red Sox games are trending under, but it might be a safer bet just to avoid this since both teams are trending in opposite directions. So, if you look here at the uh, Team Volatility Oscillator, you see that the Yankees are at plus 18 compared to plus 4. That means the Yankees are among the most stable teams in the league. That means they're performing very consistently according to their favorite underdog status. So keep that in mind when betting on the games for this weekend. Now, you can also look at the Pitcher Profit Oscillator. So if you go to the Pitcher Profit Oscillator, I have it up right here, you will see all you need to do is put in the teams. I have Red Sox and Yankees. And put in the starting pitcher. So Friday's matchup is Eduardo Rodriguez versus Domingo German. And if you go down through here, you will see the profit margin here. We see that German is at, if we go down through here again, see that German is at plus 1,014. Excuse me, that is Rodriguez at plus 1,014. And German is at plus 212. So you can see a big advantage here for Rodriguez. So you can do that with every matchup in this series. And when doing so, you will see that. Rodriguez has the advantage for the Red Sox on Friday. Rick Porcello has a big advantage on Sunday. He is at plus, uh, Saturday at plus 1530, and Masahiro Tanaka is at plus 1364 on Sunday. So he is the best bet in that one. So looking overall, um, the Yankees are the better team. They are playing at home. Uh, I think they probably will have a slight advantage, even though the Red Sox have the advantage on the mound in two of the three games. So I would bet the Yankees to take two out of three, but do not be surprised if you see an upset in favor of the Red Sox. So let's go down through. The next good matchup here for the weekend is the Milwaukee Brewers and Pittsburgh Pirates. The NL Central battle here has the first place, uh, or excuse me, second place Brewers, second place Brewers, and the fourth place Pirates. If you look here, the Brewers are burning hot. The Pirates are ice cold down. If you look at the last six games here, you see what the Brewers have done. They are 3-3 three and three over the last six, winning their last two. And the Pirates have lost four out of the last six, and that's why they are ice cold down at the moment. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see something similar. You see the Pirates, after their losing skid, has, has trended way down there at plus nine. And the Brewers, with the last two wins, they're trending up there at plus 19. If you're looking for the uh, over-under on this one, you go to the totals predictor and we'll see what's going on here. You can see that the Brewers are trending in games over, and so are the Pirates that are trending way over. So betting the over is a very safe play for this weekend. Let's look at the volatility oscillator like usual. And you see here, oh, that is the wrong game. That is Baltimore. We have to scroll back up here. And here we go. We got this one right here, volatility oscillator. You see that neither team is very stable, coming in at plus two and plus one. So you can look at the favorite underdog stats, but don't consider it too heavily when betting on the games in this series. If you look at the pitching matchups, Brandon Woodruff is the best bet for the Brewers on Saturday at plus 628. And Chris Archer is the worst bet of the series 
for the Pirates on Friday. He's at minus 2,793 in terms of profit. So the best bet is to avoid him and the Pirates on Friday. Take the Brewers to win two out of three games in this series. Go down through here to a couple more matchups here. We got, got to scroll way down to the ones I'm looking for here. See, there's a full slate of games for this weekend, as it always is. And this is the one I want, the Cubs and the Cardinals. Another great NL Central matchup here. The Cubs are first in the division. The Cardinals are third in the division. But you see that both teams are trending down, ice cold down for the Cubs. They have lost four of their last six. And again, the same thing for the Cardinals, ice cold down. They have also lost four out of their last six. So something has to give in this series. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Cubs here are stable over the last couple of days at plus 22. The Cardinals have gone slightly up there at plus 14. Betting the over-under? Well, let's take a look. You can see that the Cubs are trending way over in their games that they are playing. If you look down here at the Cardinals, they are trending way under. So what does that mean? That kind of neutralizes, balances each other out. I would suggest avoiding the over-under in this one. If you look at the uh, team volatility oscillator, which I like to look at always, you can see that the Cardinals are among the most unstable teams in the league. They are way down here at minus 7. So clearly do not consider them strictly on their favorite underdog status. As far as the pitching matchups go, as you go to the pitcher profit loss order, again, you can go there and put the players in yourself. But when I did that, you can see that uh, U Darvish is a very bad bet on uh, Friday for the Cubs at minus 1384. The Miles Mikolas, who is starting for the Cardinals, is an excellent bet at plus 815. So go with the Cardinals in that one. Sunday's matchup is the big one. That is a pretty much a toss-up. Cole Hamels and Adam Wainwright are both excellent bets, both approaching 1,600 in the positive on the uh, pitcher profit oscillator. But that is the one game that will determine the series. I think there's a split on Friday and Saturday. And really, the game on Sunday is also a toss-up, so the series in general is a toss-up. So let's go down here to the next one. You got the Astros and the A's. In the AL West battle here, the A's are catching up after winning 10 straight. They're now in second place, six and a half games behind the Astros, who are average. Astros have gone three and three over the last six. And you can see here among their 10-game uh, winning streak here are the last six games for the A's. You can see all wins. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the A's have skyrocketed all the way up to the top here at plus 28. The Astros have dropped a little bit, but they're still at plus 24, still very solid. If we look at the uh, totals predictor, betting the over-under, well, let's see. Houston is trending way under in their games. And you can see that Oakland is also trending under in their games. So the best bet for the games in this series is to go with the under. If we look at the pitching matchups we have here, um, Mike Fires on... Friday for the A's at plus 14.45, pitcher profit oscillator. He is an excellent bet for that game. Sunday's game, Jared Cole for Houston is at plus 7.76. He is a good bet in that one for Houston. Saturday's game, Justin Verlander versus Brett Anderson. Both are in the negative on the pitcher profit oscillator. It's a bit of a toss up again, but I will lean towards Oakland for the series, two games to one, because they are the hottest team at the moment and they are playing at home. So we're going to look at the final matchup for this weekend. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Both teams are in first place in their divisions. The Phillies are averaged down at the moment. They have won three out of their last six. The Dodgers are burning hot. They have won their last four and eight out of their last ten. Look at the power rankings indicator. You see both teams are very high in this category. The Dodgers having a slight 27 to 26 edge. Boy, these are the two top teams in the National League right now, according to a win loss record. So it should be a great matchup for the weekend. If we look at the totals predicted, the Phillies are trending a little bit on the over. You can see here the red line compared to the blue. If you go to the Dodgers, they are trending well over in their games. Both teams score a lot of runs, so betting the over is clearly a safe play in this series. If you look at the volatility oscillator, you will see that both teams are very stable as well. The Dodgers are even more stable at plus 19 compared to the Phillies at plus 12. So strongly consider favorite underdog status when looking at this matchup. If you look at the pitchers involved in the game for this weekend, Jake Arrieta is a great bet for the Phillies on Friday at plus 735. 
But the weekend games, Clayton Kershaw and Rich Hill are both well in the positive for the Dodgers. They're the best bets for the weekend games. So because the Dodgers are at home and because they have the better pitching this weekend, go with the Dodgers to win the series two games to one. Now, we're going to look at something here. I'm going to make note of this. So take a look here at the cash contest. Remember, the cash contest is here. Okay, so what you're doing here is you want to pick a winner and reach 10 wins and grab $150. You want to look at this contest. It's been going on. Uh, you know, it's here posted on May 20th, so it's been going on for a little bit now. And you just go down through here. You can see here it says first to 10 wins cash contest. And you just want to go down. And just take notice of this, that we have a contest going on. So please enter. Please join. You have a chance to win $150. Why not? You have a chance to win big. So there's a picture of Profit Oscillator again if you wanted to look at that. And you go right back here to the VIP section where you have all the oscillators and every tool that you need to make your picks to win big, not just this week, but to win big all baseball season long. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the games this weekend, and we will see you next week.